I'm going to replace the overflow cover here and more importantly the tub stopper at the bottom. You can see this one's completely rusted out. Uh, super corroded. It's really old. Uh, probably should have been done a while back. Uh, but what I'm going to do is take a little uh, a little hacksaw, hand hand hacksaw like this. Uh, real handy tool to have. If you don't have one, you might want to get one. They're not that expensive. But I'm uh, going to cut through uh, this ring. You're going to have to cut down inside the pipe too uh, to make sure you get the threads. But when you cut the lip, uh, you don't want to go crazy and cut into the fiberglass or if you have a uh, porcelain cast iron tub, you might want to put some tape or rag there and just be real careful. Uh, I got almost all the way through the lip part and almost all the way through the thread part. Um, taking my time, trying to be real careful. I'm going to leave just the tiniest little bit there so I don't slip and cut into the fiberglass. And then I'm going to come over about an inch and a half or so and, and make another cut. I'm going to try to take that little chunk out of there. So after I got it cut, um, pretty much all the way through, it's kind of hard to tell, so you might have to poke at it a little bit. Uh, but when you hit this thing with a screwdriver, like I said, if you got porcelain, you, you want to be careful you don't uh, crack the finish. Or with the fiberglass, you don't want to pry on the tub and break it. So uh, caution and take your time with this thing. I got this little piece out, and I didn't get all the way through the threaded part. I'm going to have to, you know, hack on that a little more. Uh, it's okay if you cut into the female part of the threads on the pipe underneath a little bit to get that piece out. But once you get that piece out, you can take my screwdriver and a hammer, and I'm going to whack it on the side there and try to loosen the threads up. Um, if it bends and folds in half, I guess you're ahead of the game there. You can pull the whole thing out. Uh, this one's pretty thick uh, metal and it's pretty tough so I'm just trying to break the threads loose uh, after I whacked it a couple times it felt like it it's getting loose so I'm gonna uh, try to hit it with the screwdriver and try to get it to unscrew uh, since it's not folding in half and it seems to be moving so I'm just gonna keep going this way uh, trial and error you know uh, do whatever works but you just got to be careful and take your time so after I got it loose I just stuck my channel locks in there um, and kind of spun it a couple times till I could get a hold of it with my fingers uh, and get it the rest of the way out. And that's the hard part. So get it all cleaned up. You can see this thing's super corroded and nasty and old. Um, if it was more rusty, it probably would have broke when I hit it with a hammer. Um, it's just due to be replaced, I guess. So get that all cleaned out and... Um, get the pipe cleaned out as well here's the new one um, unscrew the the top part and you can see the crossbars in there um, that rubber gasket usually goes underneath I can't get underneath so I'm gonna do uh, all the waterproofing from above and reuse what's underneath that actually has a uh, an extra threaded piece kind of a universal fit if you got different kinds of thread so uh, I opt for the liquid Teflon uh, I'm going to put it on this uh, this ring first and screw those uh, that extra set of threads that they send with it. I'm going to screw that on there, not leaving anything to chance as far as you know any water getting in there. So I'm going to wipe off the excess as I go, uh, so it's not a huge mess. Uh, and you want to screw that thing all the way down tight, and then we'll get some plumber's putty. After you get that on there tight, wipe wipe off your uh, you know any kind of excess you got on there um, and then we'll put a big gob of uh, plumber's putty on the underneath side of this thing don't spare the plumber's putty you got a giant tootsie roll uh, width of uh, plumber's putty uh, better to have more than not enough so uh, gob that on there real good squish it on there and then we'll put some more Teflon tape on the that uh, plastic part threads um, we'll just get some more on those threads. Like I said, leave nothing to chance as far as, uh, you know, we don't want any leaks under this thing because it'd be real hard to get to, uh, if not tearing the ceiling out downstairs. So, um, get that on there and smear it around. I like this stuff a lot better in the tape. It seals a lot better. It's a little more messy, but, uh, it's guaranteed to seal up them threads real good for you. So after you get that all goobered up, get it started in the, uh, the threads with your hand and make sure you're not cross threading it and then get you a basket wrench like this 
uh, best tool for these kind of things. There again, they don't cost that much. If you do this more than once, uh, it's it's worth five bucks. So, uh, and then crank that thing down till you can't crank it anymore, um, and then you'll peel off the excess uh, plumber's putty that squishes out there. Uh, get that cleaned off real good and that's pretty much it for that part uh, the hard parts cutting it and getting it out of there so after you make sure you get your um, plumber's putty cleaned off and then uh, screw the uh, the stopper part back in uh, those are kind of funny you gotta push it all the way in before it'll screw and then we'll get to the overflow part this is the easy part uh, if you have one of these if if the screws break loose then you're home free pretty much so save the old screws this new one came with the little uh, cross piece there they put the old screws in that cross piece to hold that on there and then the new one uh, thread the new screw threads through that middle part there's a top and a bottom to those just make sure the open parts uh, facing down and uh, screw that part in that's all you got to do with that um, and you're pretty much done so yeah if you got uh, if you get one of these projects um, I would say use the little hacksaw and take your time uh, that's the biggest thing is just taking your time and not getting pissed off so uh, there you go hope that helps